Hi everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I welcome you all on my YouTube channel. In this session, we will be exploring about Swiss target prediction tool. We will be highlighting its overview, the key features and property. Along with that, I will also be providing you tips for successful experimentation and analysis by using Swiss target prediction. Along with that, I will also be providing you project ideas based on Swiss target prediction. So let's start the session. Swiss target prediction is a web-based tool designed to predict the most probable protein targets of a small molecule. It utilizes a ligand-based approach that combines 2D and 3D similarity measures to identify the potential target based on the known interaction from a large database of compounds. This tool is particularly valuable for researchers and scientists in drug discovery and development as it helps to narrow down the set of potential targets for new or existing compounds. Let's see a few of the importance of Swiss target prediction. Swiss target prediction is significant in research for several reasons. The number one is target identification. It's aid in identifying the molecular target of bioactive compound, which is crucial for understanding the mechanism of action and potential therapeutic effect. It is also utilized in drug reproposing. This tool can suggest new uses for existing drugs by predicting additional target and therefore accelerating the drug development process. Along with that, side effect prediction. By identifying the off-target interaction, researchers and scientists can better understand and mitigate the potential side effect associated with drug candidates. And moreover, it is also utilized in rational drug design. It supports the rational drug design of new drug by providing insight into the protein target that similar compounds interact with. Now let's see the key features and the properties of cis target prediction. The number one is user-friendly interface. The platform offers an intuitive interface that allows users to input molecular structure easily and obtain prediction without extensive computational expertise. The next is 2D and 3D similarity measure. Swiss target prediction combines both 2D and 3D similarity assessment to enhance the accuracy of target prediction. The tool also allows prediction across the multiple species, including human, mice, rats, etc. This facilitating comparative studies. The next is extensive database. It utilizes a comprehensive database of known bioactive compounds and their target, thus enhancing the reliability of the prediction. And on top of that, Rapid result. The tool provides quick prediction, typically returning result within 15 to 20 seconds for a query molecule. If you are beginner to this tool, let me introduce with the input and output details. If we talk about the input, to use Swiss target prediction, user usually needs to provide molecular structure. Input can be done via smile notation, SDF file, or even by drawing the molecule directly using a molecular editor. The next is organism selection. User can also select the organism for which the prediction should be made with option including human, mouse, rat, etc. Now if you talk about the output, the output from Swiss target prediction include predicted target, a ranked list of potential protein target for the input molecule including the common names and the links to the database like Uniprot and gene card. Along with that, similarity score. Each target is also provided with similarity score based on 2D and 3D comparison with known ligands and also target classes. Information on the classification of predicted targets which helps in understanding their biological role. So let me give you some of the useful tips for doing successful experimentation and analysis if you are using this tool. The number one is ensure accurate input. Always verify that the molecular structure is correctly represented to avoid any error in the prediction. Select the appropriate organism. Choose the organism that is most relevant to your research question to obtain the most applicable result. Along with that, review similarity score. Pay attention to the similarity score provided in the output to assess the reliability of the predicted target. Try to explore the links to the databases. It is better to utilize the links to the external databases for further information on the predicted target, including their function and associated pathway analysis. And lastly, consider multiple prediction. Analyze the top prediction to identify potential primary and secondary target for the compound. 
Now let me provide you some user friendly and beginner focused project idea based on Swiss target prediction. The number one project is predicting the target for novel antimicrobial compound. The objective of this project is to identify potential protein target for a series of newly synthesized antimicrobial compound. The significance of this project is it will help you to uncover and explore the molecular mechanism of action of these compounds, thus contributing to the development of new antimicrobial therapies. The general step required are synthesize a series of novel antimicrobial compounds, then input the molecular structure into the Swiss target prediction, select the appropriate organism like human or bacteria, and then analyze the predicted target with their similarity score. Focus on the predicted target with the highest similarity score to prioritize the further experimentation validation. Here you can expect the identification of several potential protein target for antimicrobial compound, which can provide insight into the mechanism of action, which can be further tested in the experimental setup. Now let's go to the project idea tool that is drug reproposing for neurological disorder. You can explore the potential reproposing of existing drug for the treatment of neurological disorder by predicting new targets. This project could lead to the discovery of new therapeutic application for existing drug, which can potentially accelerate the treatment option for patients. The general steps required are compile a list of existing drugs with known activity, then input the molecular structure of these drugs into Swiss target prediction. Select the relevant organism for prediction and lastly analyze the output for potential new target associated with neurological pathways. Investigate the off-target interaction to assess the potential side effect or additional therapeutic benefit. You can expect a list of potential new target for existing drug which can offer insight into their applicability in treating the neurological disorder. Now let's move to the project idea 3 that is investigating the off-target effect in the drug candidate. To assess the off-target effect of drug candidate by predicting unintended protein target, the significance of this project is it helps in understanding the off-target interaction which is crucial for improving the drug safety and efficacy thus minimizing the adversing effect. The general steps required are select a set of drug candidate currently under investigation Input their structure into Swiss target prediction. Analyze the predicted off-target and their similarity score. And compare the predicted target against the known side effect in the literature. You can focus on the predicted off-target with high similarity score to evaluate their potential impact on the drug safety. You can expect the identification of potential off-target interaction for drug candidate, thus aiding in the assessment of their safety profile. These project ideas leverages the capability of Swiss target prediction to facilitate the research in the drug discovery and development, thus enhancing the understanding of molecular interaction and therapeutic application. I hope you have liked the session. Don't forget to like and subscribe the channel and do share these information among your scientific endeavor. Join our training sessions and project to enhance your understanding of Swiss target prediction and similar tools related to bioinformatics and game informatics. And if you are having any queries or suggestions for future videos, please drop a message in the comment section. Thank you.